Hello and welcome to the short demo of Bex AI. Bex AI is a Jira plugin that brings Secure by Design straight into your development tooling and helps you almost like a security colleague as you plan, design, collaborate on your um, software as you're building it. As a Jira plugin, it's able to analyze your Jira tasks and create recommended actions for you to take that will improve the security of your application um, by design. The reasons to, to do this is because it introduces security uh, as early as possible in the software development lifecycle, uh, and it does so in a non-intrusive way. It's, you don't have to log into a separate security tool. It's bringing security straight into the tooling that you're using. Because Specs AI is able to generate tasks and comments, uh, it also enhances collaboration. And you can even ask Bex AI questions through the comments. So let's take a look at Bex AI in action. As you can see, we have a Jira task, a fairly typical looking Jira task. Um, in this case, it's for creation of an API endpoint that fetches customer data, such as into a mobile app. Uh, and immediately on the right hand side, we can see the Bex AI plugin that has performed the assessment and has generated recommended actions that we, uh, we can take. So what Bex AI has done is it's looked at the contents of the Jira task and it has created a risk rating. This is basically to tell you how much you should be concerned about the security implications of what's described in this task. It's given uh, a description of why it's come up with that risk rating. Uh, and it's also even included some information on how to improve the description. So information you could include in the description to uh, clarify things from a security perspective for your colleagues or for Bex AI itself. Uh, below that, we can also see recommended actions. And these are the, as a uh, developer oriented um, security tool, Bex AI has written these um, recommended actions in a way that are actionable and understandable by developers. So it's come up with five and what, what it's done behind the scenes is essentially it's gone through a process of threat modeling. So it's assessed the, uh, you know, the Jira task, it's identified potential attack scenarios, it's boiled those down into the relevant ones, it's identified potential mitigations and has boiled those down into the five that we can see here. Uh, so if we take a look at one of these, we can see a bit of context about what you can do to improve the security and why this matters. So what are the implications of not doing this? So one of the features that we introduced recently is that rather than having to, for example, click a button to then go and do this analysis, Bex AI would automatically analyze a Jira task as you open it if it's not been analyzed previously. If it has analyzed, been analyzed previously and you want to refresh it, you can just click this refresh button and that will kick off Bex's uh, analysis. As we just saw, we can open the details. Uh, we've added two other new features recently, the ability to turn the recommended actions into a task or into a subtask. So uh, a task will create a completely separate one uh, and a subtask will create a subtask within the ticket you're currently looking at. So as a demonstration, I'll uh, shortly be creating a new task. A couple of other features that we um, had previously that are still here are the ability to flag recommended actions as either implemented or not applicable. Um, and this is useful because it may be that you're already doing something like maybe we're doing this, we're using an ORM for our API um, database access for the endpoint. Um, so we can flag this as already implemented. Um, that's useful from a tracking point of view, but actually if we then perform another uh, assessment with Bex AI, it's going to take into account the fact that we're already using an ORM um, so it will come up with different recommendations and it may adjust the risk rating as a result. And for example, if this just does not apply to us, we can also mark um, a recommendation as not applicable. And again, that, you know, it's got rid of it from the list and Bex AI will use that information in future assessments. Uh, but let's move over to turning this into a Jira task. So this one, this is the one we want to implement. We know we want to uh, go and work on this uh, maybe as part of this task. So we're going to create a new task. Um, and it literally just takes a couple of seconds for that to happen. And you can see here that it's created this new task. It's tracking it here, so I can, I can click on this button, but it, that toast will disappear shortly. Um, but we have these created issues available to us here. So if I just quickly open that up, you can see here that it is um, sharing the recommended actions, um, the content of the recommended action right here inside the Jira task. Um, it will perform also an assessment of this Jira task. So, you know, this is uh, elephants all the way down. 
Um, but this is useful as well because there may be things that, depending on what happens in this task, there may be some other follow-on um, things you may want to consider from a security perspective. So BEX will analyze this anyway, and therefore you can uh, take an action. As we said, you can also create subtasks um, as well. So that, that's it, that's BEX in a nutshell. Again, the idea here is to enable you as a developer, as an engineer, to um, be aware of your security blind spots to help you with the decision-making process and to be guided through the, the process of making your software secure by design. You can install BEX AI for free. Just search for BEX AI in the Atlassian Marketplace.